Hi everyone! Today we're going to learn about the artist James Rizzi. He was a pop artist from New York City and he is known for these very detailed cityscapes that really show the happy side of everyday life. He uses these very playful and fun drawings of faces and birds and he uses a lot of bright colors. So today we are going to learn how to draw our very own Rizzi style cityscape. So to begin you're going to want to gather your materials. You're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, and some other suggested materials would be a black sharpie or any kind of marker to outline, and then markers or colored pencils will work well, crayons or even watercolor paint could also be used for this. You're probably going to want to start with pencil and you're going to start drawing your city. So you're going to do your buildings, rectangles work great. You could even add a little bit of different shape in there if you'd like. They can overlap and you probably want to make some bigger and smaller than each other. When you're done making your city, here I am starting to draw my silly faces on my buildings. I have an example sheet in the project Google document if you want to look at different examples of faces that you can draw. Or you can just be creative and use your imagination to draw any kind of silly face. When you have all of your silly faces drawn, I went ahead and started outlining with a black Sharpie marker. You can use um, a black colored pencil or black crayon, um, anything to outline to really make your buildings and faces stand out. After I had everything outlined, I just went with my black Sharpie and I added all of my windows with the marker. I didn't use pencil because I thought that would take a long time to do and I wasn't super worried about it being perfect. If the windows don't line up or they're not exactly the same, don't worry about it. It will still look amazing in the end. Once I had everything outlined with the marker, I erased. Now if you use black crayon to outline, erasing might smudge it, so you might not want to erase the pencil. The next thing to do would be to add your color. You can use any supplies you have available. I chose to use markers and colored pencils to add color to my drawing. I started by outlining each building with a marker and I used bright colors just like Rizzi did in his paintings and drawings. When I was done outlining all of my buildings, I went in with a colored pencil pressing very lightly to make sure that my lines didn't show and it blended together. And I colored in each building and I also colored in the windows. When you have your buildings all colored in, you can add those details to your sky. I added some fun birds and a silly sun, and I'm also going to add some clouds. When you're done drawing your details and outlining, you can go ahead and start adding your color. You can use the same materials that you did for your buildings.
I finished by coloring my sky in with colored pencil and here is my finished drawing. I hope you enjoyed drawing your Rizzy style cityscape. I would love to see your finished artwork. If you'd like, you can upload that in Artzonia or send me an email. In Artzonia, the project will be called Rizzy Cityscape. Thanks for watching.